What's going on guys? Welcome to my first video on my on tryhackme.com. Before, if you probably know me from Volnhub and doing other boxes on there, but I will be switching to tryhackme. If Volnhub does create more boxes, um, I'll probably be doing tryhackme and also Volnhub boxes. So in this case, I actually just want to start with a basic uh, pen testing box on uh, tryhackme because usually I start with low end boxes, then I go, I go with um, higher end boxes, which are um, harder, right? And yeah, guys, um, if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so to get started, uh, we do have the IP of um, the box. I'm first going to start by pinging and see if I'm actually connected to the VPN, uh, which we are. So I'm going to run a um, MAP scan on here. We'll do minus SC, we'll do SV. We'll scan all ports on that machine, right? Um, I already have a, I did MKDIR to make a directory on, on, under here. Um, so I'm going to do a banner grab on port 80. So we'll do netcat minus MV on 80. We do see that HTTP is open. So let's first try to visit um, HTTP, right? So pressing enter on this, we do see underground maintenance. Uh, I'm going to do control U to check out the source code. Um, seems like this is running HTML. Okay, so we don't have anything there, right? So we do have a server running on here. Um, I like running GoBusters on here. So just to find a directory, so we have any uh, files we can find any directories, right? Uh, I forgot we do have. Um, I'm so used to Volnub, so I'm just <laughs> I'm typing in like the IP address uh, for local. Um, so we'll do go buster. We'll do directory list 2.3. This 2.3 medium.txt. I uh, will specify the extensions as HTML and I will specify TXE. Uh, here we do have um, index.html, which was uh, this page right here. And just in case, I'm gonna run a uh, Nikto scan on the target. So I'm gonna do Nikto minus minus host. And we can press enter for the IP address. Okay, so here we do get a 301 for development. So let's actually try to uh, visit our um, slash development. And under the slash development, we do get a dev and j.txt. Um, so here I'm actually just gonna w get this. I'm just gonna cancel my Nikto scan. So uh, we'll do Alice minus LA. So we did have a uh, dev, I believe it's dev.txe, right? And we also have a j.txe. Um, so let's actually cat this out, uh, dev.txe. Uh, looking at this, uh, we do have, um, we do see that there's SMB has been configured. Uh, so we can probably use enum for Linux. Um, let's check out our other file, which is uh, j.txt or j.txe. Uh, we have we do have uh, two users right here, j and k. Um, since there is SMB on here, let's try to run a uh, enum for Linux. So I'm gonna do enum for Linux minus h for help. Um, we can do uh, all simple enumeration. So we can just do uh, enum for Linux. Uh, we'll do minus A and then plus the IP address. If not, we can uh, easily just enum for um, some users, right, on the box. All right, so once the scan is complete, uh, we do get a user as K and Jan. So uh, let's see if we can actually try uh, brute forcing these uh, login usernames, right, using uh, rocku.txt, right? So we're gonna use um we're gonna use Hydra minus L. We're gonna specify the users as um so I'm gonna be using K for now. Uh now we're gonna specify minus P for the passes. So we're gonna use uh, user share uh we'll, we'll do wordless rocky.txt. We'll do specify as I to not uh I mean before I ran some uh, brute force sessions, so I'll just do minus I so we don't restore the session. We'll run this as um SSH 10.0.0 or not the IP address, but let me get the IP address. And look at the MMAP scan. We do see we we do see that we have um, port twenty two open for SSH. And I think that's about it. We can actually do. Um, I think it specifies it by itself as port twenty two. But I just like putting the port as uh, twenty two just to make sure, right? Um, so we can run that MMAP scan, and we can just let that run for about a couple of minutes. All right, so since uh, the user can is, or user K is taking a long time, I'm gonna be switching users to user Jan, right? And I'll just press enter, let me just clear this. I'll run 
the attack against Jan using Rocky.txe um, for SSH, right? Okay, so after some time, we do get a valid credential for login as Jan, and the password is Armando. Um, so we can just easily just log in uh, using SSH doing that, right? Um, so I'm just going to clear my terminal. I'll see you back. Um, I'm going to do SSH. Uh, we do have the user as Jan at 10.0. Totally forgot the IP address, but just copy that. Uh, we do have a password, Armando. Did I spell it right? I think I'm just better off copying and pasting. There we go. And we do get a line success rate. So we can just clear this, right? Uh, Slaggy, terminal is laggy, but okay. Um, so I'm gonna do ls minus la. Uh, we'll do a, why is this so laggy? We'll do ls minus la as home. So we do have a j and can, right? So I'm gonna see if I can actually cd back. So we, have, we do have j and can, um, j and k, my bad. Uh, let me try to visit our uh, k since we are jan. And here, uh, let's see if we can actually find some password. We do have a password.back. Um, and this is permission denied. So looking at here, uh, let's see if we can visit our .ssh. And let's see if we can actually read this, which we can. Uh, we do have a private key here, uh, which should give us access to her... Um, to K. So let's actually just copy this. So I'm going to copy this. Um, I'm going to go under my, so I'm going to go under my, uh, try hack me and I have it under here, right? So I'm going to VI into, uh, we'll do ID underscore RSA as our private key. And the public key is already on this, on her under K, um, so we don't need to worry about that, right? Um, so we'll do chmod, um, it's on my local machine, so I don't have to do a chmod, but we'll try to SSH into um, K at 10 dot, I forgot the IP address, 10, and we'll do minus I to be the, to use our key, and, I forgot this is bad permission, so I think this is chmod 700. I think it was 700 or 600, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. I think it was 700. So after we do chmod 700 for id underscore rsa, um, it is asking us for a passphrase, right? So for this to work, we actually need to turn um, our key into a hash so we can actually crack it using rocky.txe. Okay. Okay, yeah, so the directory was under actually user shared John, SSH to John. Um, so here it is telling us to specify the RSA files. So we do have, um, uh, we are under try hack me. So where did I put the key? I did put it under here. Okay, so we do have RSA. I'm actually going to pipe this out or uh, I'll put this to a... Um, John underscore crack dot txe. Let's cut out the John underscore crack dot txe. We do see that this is a hash. So now I'm going to be use John. I'm going to use John to crack this hash, right? So now John can understand that, right? Um, so I'm going to use John minus minus word list. Um, usually I put a space in between so I can actually tab for um, the word list. So I'm going to use user share word list rocky dot txe. And I fold, what did I name it? I name it John underscore crack. Uh, we can actually put this back together. We can press enter. And after some time, we do get a uh, password as beeswax, right? So now we can log in, right? Um, so let's go back to our other command that we did. We control V that. And we are now, we have a persistent SSH, we have a persistent SSH connection as K, right? Um, so we do have a uh, pass, uh, dot back. I'm not sure what this is for. Let's just try to copy this. 
Um, let's try for suit for root. Which I don't think is the right password. But it does seem like this is a... Um, And once we do actually type in, so this, uh, so doc back file is basically just a backup file of the original file. Um, all I did was actually just uh, copy this file, run sudo minus l against it. So we can run all, so we can just do um, sudo switch users and we should be root now. So now we can go into root and we can kind of like .txt. Well guys, uh, that's pretty much in the video. Um, I just want to create this box for um, for me going into try hack me, I uh, wanted to do it like a basic uh, pen testing, uh, just to let you guys know that I'd be doing try hack me, right? Uh, this box is pretty easy, um, not really a challenge, but if you're new to pen testing, uh, this is a really good uh, box for you, right? Well, guys, uh, remember to drop the like and subscribe button for for more try hack me videos, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.